believe it's December? You know what that means, right? Christmas is on the way. Put your hand up if you love Christmas. I know I do. This Christmas, we want to really take a look into the why behind Christmas. Most of us know Christmas is celebrating the birth of Jesus, but why? Why did Jesus need to come? Why is this so important? To give us a bit of a clue, we have our new memory verse ready to go. So let's stand to our feet and sing and dance along. Came to seek. Came to save. Luke 19 verse 10. That's a verse. Luke 19 verse 10. Write it down. Luke 19 verse 10. Have you got it? Luke 19 verse 10. Here we go. For the Son of Man came to seek, seek and save the lost. For the Son of Man came to seek, seek and save the lost. Let's dance. For the Son of Man came to seek, seek and save the lost. For the Son of Man came to seek, seek and save the lost. What's that verse again? Luke 19 verse 10. That's right. Luke 19 verse 10. Say it louder. Luke 19 verse 10. One more time. Luke 19, verse 10. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas y'all. Jesus is the Son of Man, and He came to seek and save the lost. This means He came so that the world could be brought back into relationship with God. Let's take a little bit of a look at how this unfolded. In the beginning, God created the whole world. He created people and he wanted them to live in perfect relationship with him. Sadly, this did not go according to plan. Mankind didn't listen to God's instructions and wanted to do things their own way. This meant sin entered the world and separated mankind from God. For many years, mankind lived distant from God, unable to be in his presence. But God had a plan. He was going to bring the world a saviour. God told the world his plan through the prophet Isaiah. He said that a virgin would give birth to God's son and call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. This meant mankind wouldn't need to be separated from God anymore. Hooray! The only problem was this didn't happen straight away. In fact, it would be nearly 700 years until an angel named Gabriel would appear to a woman named Mary and tell her that she would have a baby and call him Jesus, that her baby would be God's son. When it was nearly time for Jesus to be born, Mary and her fiancé Joseph had to travel all the way from Nazareth to Bethlehem. This was a long way for a pregnant lady to go on a donkey. When they got there, there was nowhere to stay and Jesus was about to be born. Now, you might expect the new king, the son of God, to be born in a palace or even a hospital or perhaps at the very least a clean house. But Jesus was not going to be any ordinary king. He was born in a barn and laid in a manger. When Jesus was born, this was good news. It brought great joy to so many. Shepherds in their fields heard about Jesus' birth from an angel and wise men had come from distant lands to bring gifts to the newborn king. The world rejoiced because after waiting a long time, the promise of a saviour was born. Jesus had come to seek and save the lost. So, just to recap, the world needed a saviour. God promised Jesus. On Christmas, we celebrate that Jesus is the greatest gift of all time. Why? Because he came to seek and save the lost. He didn't just come for the shepherds and the wise men living in the Bible times. He came for you, 
for me, for your next door neighbor, for your teacher, for your best friend, even for your worst enemy. Jesus came so that all might be able to be free from sin and all could know the great love that God has for them. This is really, really good news. You honestly can't get a better Christmas gift than Jesus. The gift of Jesus brings peace, hope, love and joy to everyone who opens it. The best thing is the gift of Jesus never runs out. It doesn't break like that new toy you're hoping for or get too small like those fancy basketball shoes. Jesus will be with you even when you are an old lady or man. All we need to do is open that gift. The Bible tells us that when we believe in our heart that Jesus came to seek and save the lost, when we understand that he died and rose again to defeat sin and death, and when we confess with our mouths that he is Lord, we will be saved. All we need to do is say a simple prayer and open this incredible gift of Jesus. Then we get to walk with him every day of our lives. If you've never prayed that prayer and received the gift of relationship with Jesus, I would love to pray with you. With every eye closed and every head bowed in this place, if you have never asked Jesus to come into your heart, if you've never prayed a prayer inviting him in, today is the day because Jesus came to seek and save the lost and the lost is you. So if that's you today, pop up your hand so we know who we're praying with and then we're gonna say a very powerful prayer together. So good. Why don't you repeat this prayer after me? Dear Jesus, thank you that you came to seek and save the lost. Today, I accept you into my heart. I know that I need you and I ask to walk every day with you. I turn from doing things my own way and I'm gonna try and do them your way. Thank you for dying on the cross and rising again to defeat sin and death. Help me to walk every day with you. Amen. So good. That is the most important decision you will ever make. If you are in campus, our team are going to chat through that decision with you. And if you are watching online, I want you to head to our website, nationschurch.com slash kids. And there are some resources there which will bless you on your journey with Jesus. And you know what, guys, if you've already made that decision, I want you to think of others in your world who might need to know Jesus. Be praying for them, be inviting them, be sharing with them because they too need that amazing gift that is Jesus. See you next time.